Welcome to the Harris Show. I am your host, Jamal Harris, and I'm with my sister and co-host, Angie Ann. What's up? Hey, I just got a text. Hold up. Go ahead. I'm sorry. But um, <laughs> and we're here to bring you another episode. So we're just going to talk about random topics because there ain't really much happening in the world. I mean, besides the is. quarantine, I don't really want to talk about that. So to talk no. about positive stuff, we're just going to talk about pop culture, random questions, just stuff to talk. So yeah. go ahead, start okay. it off. So um, I wanted to know, how do you feel about OnlyFans and, Only and fans? its popularity? Yeah. Um, well, mine's two parts. Uh, How do you feel about it? And would you feel some type of way if your girl wanted to do an OnlyFans? I mean, for like the non-porn watchers, OnlyFans, I guess, is a thing that's like popular. Um, I don't, I think if you can make your money, make your money. Because if I can make money off of that, I best believe it would be on OnlyFans making money. So I feel if you can make that bread, <laughs> Go make ahead, that bread. Men like, too. I ain't hating. If I had the body or if women paid to see men, like men would pay to see women, I would be on it. So yeah. I can't be mad and hating. I do think it's a little funny how like the people who be, uh, the people who get on OnlyFans, how that was like, how fast they went to OnlyFans. Mm-hmm. instead of like looking to get a job it was like well <laughs> guess I'm going to OnlyFans it's like that was your first option you didn't think to like try to get another job like so I think that's funny but how people just went for like, oh furlough OnlyFans instead of like oh let me look for a job for the time being mm-hmm. but as far as my girl getting on it ooh, don't know if I'll be <laughs> kind of let, let, me, let me give you a scenario <laughs> Say I just like, yo, I'm gonna get an OnlyFans. We're gonna we're gonna test it out for a month, see how I do. Let's say she make like thirty grand in that month. Thirty grand? How do you oh, feel? Shit. I'd be like, like, keep doing that shit. <laughs> I would be like, I would be like, hey, aren't you supposed to be on uh, OnlyFans right now? What you doing? <laughs> Making her schedule for her. <laughs> I'd like to shower at this time. What you need me to get from the store? I got you. You don't even have to leave. Like, because <laughs> I've been seeing a lot of like controversy. Like, people are like, "Yeah, you can do OnlyFans. What's up?" But my girl's not gonna do it. I'm not gonna support that. And so I'm like, I would support it. It depends what you're doing on there too. Though. If you're yeah. doing stuff that I feel like, like if you're like just you know, in a bikini and mm-hmm. whatever. But if you on there like fucking other dudes, obviously I'm gonna have a problem with that. Obviously. <laughs> like I'm obviously gonna have a problem with it. Some dudes are okay with it. I'm just not that dude to be that like, oh, this is broadcast to all so these true. millions of people. Yeah. I don't understand the popularity of OnlyFans, to be honest, because again, porn has been free. I guess people are, they want the exclusive, mm-hmm. like, oh, this girl, I'm like, I don't, I don't need that. I'm not that type of perp, you know? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I go to porn for what I need to get out of it. Listen, I'm disgusted afterwards, so. This man, this man who I saw this, um, like, interview thing, he does OnlyFans. He made 100 grand in a month, and he was saying how 90% of his audience were gay men mm-hmm. and he was like they pay to see it like i'm a straight male i'm gonna continue doing it duh you're making a hundred grand in a month are you serious i don't think i don't think too though like people are taking into account like their occupations and stuff like when this mm-hmm. ends like people who are like teachers and stuff like that um Cause that stuff can get back. Like all it takes is yeah. somebody to screenshot it and send it to your your dean, or yeah. spread it. And now like your dean got to make a position. Like they might have to be in an awkward position. They might have to fire you, even though they. That's I don't know if that's just cause, but they can do something. 
because now if kids see it and the kids are like, oh, I saw Mrs. Jones mm-hmm. on there busting it open. They gonna say busting <laughs> it open. Like I saw her naked or something like that. Then now it's like, oh, what do you do? Like so they got. I think people should be careful as well. But if you're like, if you work at like a job that you don't care about, and you're making money and you're comfortable on OnlyFans, keep it up. Now when this Corona ends. I don't think OnlyFans are going to be as popular. I think Beyonce no, also no, boosted the no. shit with her, the shout out. She, because mm-hmm. like, you know, people were like, OnlyFans. What? It's just amazing. I'm just shocked at how much money people are making in a month. Yeah. Not everybody <laughs> making money. Like, I got this not girl. Everybody. No, obviously not. Obviously not. I got this girl on my Snapchat. Head. She, every day, she posts like, a link saying it's only five dollars to join and then she'll post like um little clips and then she'll have like something blanking out like her like her nipples and stuff mm-hmm. and all that i'm to the point where i'm like i don't even want to see your snap no more because i know exactly <laughs> what it's gonna be and i'm like you yeah. just you just i mean i don't know promote yourself self-promotion but yeah. i'm like i don't go on snapchat to see fucking you promoting your OnlyFans. Like, I'm not your target. Or like the Snapchat premiums? Yeah, I, I never understood those things, but I'm also, like, I don't need I don't need to feel like this is exclusively for me. Like, no, I want to go watch my Pinky and my Cherokee, my Roxy Reynolds, people I have no, I would never meet, probably. <laughs> um, don't want to meet. You know, I just want to see their big old booties. Do what they gotta okay. do, and then I gotta do what I gotta do, <laughs> and then I'm done. I don't care for that. I ain't that type. I, maybe I I'm not that type of perv, I guess. Like them niggas are, because I didn't. What well, OnlyFans is really doing is showing how nasty men are. <laughs> men are nasty. Yeah. They'll pay for it. Pay for whatever. But um, all right, let's get off that one because <laughs> <laughs> that's disgusting. Um, so what do you think about uh Lana Del Rey saying her savage statement about all basically women of color who are dominating? But she threw a couple Ariana and Camila in there. Well, Camila is a woman of color. She's a woman of color, yes. Really so she, how do you feel about her doing that? I think okay, taking Beyonce out. Because, you know, I already get defensive when Beyonce is just taking her out of the equation. Why do you need to name other women to get your little feelings off? Like, why do you need to put some other women down to make your point? And I was, I'm still confused. Like, what exactly was she trying to, what was the goal? Like, to say, like, can I make my music the way I want to make it? Was that was that what she's trying to say? I think she was hating personally. Let me hold on, because there was something in there that I did not. I was it did not sit right with me, because she basically said this is the type of music they make. Like put them in a little box. She's like, now that Doja Cat, Ariana, Camila, Cardi B, Kehlani, Nicki Minaj, and Beyonce have had number one songs about being sexy, wearing no clothes, fucking, cheating, etc. That's not all they make songs about. The thing is, too, though, um, she, she kind of, it feels like she stereotyped uh, Black women's music and put That's them in that category, that which is a, I, I found a whole bunch of problems with that. Because one, I don't think she's a good, she sucks at singing. I'm just going to call it, she can't sing. In my opinion, like I tried to give her a listen because I kept hearing all these rave things about. I like her. that summertime sadness. But um, not even. I feel like she makes emo type music for women, for white women who were born in 1970. Like her music doesn't is not transiting for me like that. It don't hit. But I also think, I think she was she was hating. And she looked at Billboard and was all like, oh, all these women of color are dominating. Let me go say something. Let me let me voice like, my why, opinion. I just want to know, like, what would make her 
really sit there and be like, I'm about to tear these women down. And then comes back and says, I know these women personally. That's why I said it. No. No, 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 no. That's not. That's not. It's only hate. Hate would make you do that. But I also, like, most times when an artist does something, they have something coming out, something. But she, if she don't release a single or an album, (laughs) I'm like, why would you just come out and say this wild shit? What was the benefit? There's like there's no benefit. Like say white people are gonna be on your side, regardless. If they see black like, people attacking this poor little white girl, they gonna be like, "Oh, we, why are y'all so rough? She made a mistake." So she gonna be good regardless. But my thing is, if you're not promoting nothing, what you doing? Like, she wants what to you doing? make it clear that she wants to make the music she wants to make. And it's like, like she's been making it. Okay, everybody wants to make the music they want to make. What is what is this? Why did you need to bring these women into it? Like, yeah, yeah I woke up, I woke up and saw that, and I was like, "What?" I sure would not stop talking about it. I was like, "I don't want to <laughs> talk about Lana Del Rey no more." I just yeah, don't. I, was like, I don't cool. think she's talented enough for me to be discussing her like that. Like, I uh, she could probably write songs, whatever. Her voice is not is not it. And when you're a singer and you can't sing, I don't mess with you like that. You know, like I don't really like you, like singers who can't sing. Drake songs when he's singing, I'm like, eh, can do without because he's a singer who can't sing. So he can hold a tune, <laughs> but he can't sing. Like if you look at my my like R and B list is like people I listen to, like oh they all can sing, sing like. But yeah, she was hating. I would feel disrespected if I was an artist who didn't get mentioned. <laughs> really? Yeah. I'd be like, what the fuck am I not doing that? She didn't hate on me. She named everyone with the number one, though. That's what I'm saying. Well, I don't know if Camilla and Ariana. Camilla had a number one, probably. Ari she does just, with that, that song with Justin Bieber. Because Megan, oh, I just, because um, Megan and Beyonce, Joja, and Nikki, you know, they were competing for the number one spot. So I guess, like, she felt the need to bring them up, but she should have just shut her mouth. She that's something you put in the group text. <laughs> that's not something that is a group text thing for the internet to see. That's a group text thing, and then you'd be like, Am I tripping? Yeah, her friends should have checked that real quick. Like, girl, take that down ASAP. She it's went at like too. she went at biggest, like the beehive is huge. Nicki Minaj's fan, what are they? The barbs are huge. Like, I don't know if Ariana's fan base is crazy like that, but I'm sure she got a big ass crazy stamp fan base. Like, she just went out the wrong people. Yeah, so I was like, man, she could have said everything she said without even naming people. See, that's, that's what I'm saying. Why did you need to name these women? Could have took the names out and be like, now that people are. You should. She should have let people like assume who she was talking about. That would have been better for her, probably. Oh, she's talking about this person. She's talking about this person. Don't put no name on it. Mm-hmm. It don't do nothing for you. It really don't. It don't. Hating is a disease. Stop but it. She'll probably drop something within a week. Oh, I'm sure. People It'll are probably be trash. People but. are going to back on her. It's whatever. It's just these white women have been losing their mind lately, so that's it is what it is. So. Can my I don't know why I just randomly like thought this, but I'm gonna ask you this question. <laughs> I was laying in bed and I was like, hmm, I wonder. Okay, if you had to pick a game show to be on that you know, like, oh, I would easily have this in the bag. Which game show would it be? Probably Family Feud. But that means you have to trust others. <laughs> oh, like an individual games. game show? Like individual, yeah. Um, shoot. I don't know. I don't trust myself that much. <laughs> <laughs> Not in no individual <laughs> games. Like, that shows that I think that I can do decent, and I know I would get smoked on. Like, Jeopardy, I'll get waxed. Oh, yeah. Uh, Maybe Wheel of Fortune. 
I think I can do good on Wheel That's of what Fortune. I said. I was like, I might win Wheel of Fortune. I think I can win Wheel For of Fortune. Sure. Um, yeah, I think I would win Wheel of Fortune. Or Deal or No Deal. Nah, Deal or No Deal. Is a, I wouldn't get greedy. I wouldn't get too greedy. I wouldn't get that far, to be honest. They would be like, I had to like, Deal. They'd be like, $1,000. <laughs> I'd be like, I'll probably have the million, the 500 still on there. I'd be like, Man, I gotta take this, man. Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty good at it. Maybe a little Dave and Buster. What is that one game? What is that one game? Um, it's not a, it's not a one person though. What game? Um, what is it? Whammy? Not Whammy. The game. It's on the Game Show Network. I know that, and it has. Who's the host? What is his name? <sighs> You always used to watch it, like all the time. America says. What is it? America says. What's America? Yes, with the the that one dude. And you got they give you, you a category. Guess, but that's not a that's a group. Ooh, game. I'm good at that. That's yeah, a group no, game, I would. Though. I feel like, yeah, I'm good at that. I feel like I would be very frustrated with my team because <laughs> like, <laughs> like I don't know who I would take but I feel like I'd just be frustrated because they always repeat the same words that have already like I'm like oh my it's already been said if you were on yeah, say, say you were on a uh, family feud mm-hmm. who are your who are the four people you taking you Jaquil DD mom Mm. No, mm. I'm taking my mom. Sorry, mom. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, <laughs> only because, like, I feel like, like up to date stuff, she wouldn't know, and that might bring us down a little bit. You know what I mean? And I don't want no animosity to my mom towards my mom <laughs> because she didn't know, you know, what TikTok is. You know, <laughs> <laughs> I don't want that be. <laughs> Um, who would I, t- I want someone older though, someone a little wise. I don't know. I don't know. We're going to, we're going to say random. Dad, I know you're watching this. There ain't no beef. There ain't no beef. <laughs> Cause I know you watch it. You're going to be like, why didn't you pick me? <laughs> who would your four be? Jaquil. Mm-hmm. Dee Dee. Um, probably I'll throw you in there. I get thrown in there. <laughs> and then who, I need like somebody who's gonna like who thinks outside the box though. Mm-hmm. Probably Aisha or somebody like that who thinks like weird shit that like nobody would think of. Um, yeah, because you it's always that like number six or five question. And who's like, weird? Who's like a, a like a low key? Like probably like somebody like Nah, Auntie Rose is not no. Low key, Jaquil might be that person though to think outside the box. I might. I have to probably. I'll probably pick. I might bring Taurus on there to be honest. To be honest, because he gonna <laughs> say some shit and it's gonna probably be like yeah. <laughs> That nigga watch a lot. Of, he used to watch all them shits too. He might be the one that bring us the championship, low key. But who would be in the fast round? Me and Jaquil, mm. for sure. <laughs> I'm just saying, I can carry a team. You wouldn't carry us at all. We'll carry you. Carry if anything, it'll be me and Jaquil or me and Denisha. Because Denisha, Denisha, I wouldn't even get a chance. <laughs> no, you wouldn't. <laughs> Denisha probably would be like Denisha probably would be real clutch like she'll get all the number ones mm-hmm. but I don't like I don't trust her enough to get the get the the ones that aren't the number ones mm. on like the last one so like if we need like 85 points I'm yeah. like nah I trust you kill the most in that <laughs> I trust you kill the most in that because you kill knows what people he know what people want, he know. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I'll probably go with him. That's crazy. I'm not even in the fast money round. You'll be like, so we were lined up, right? So I'll be the first person, and then I'll go. Denisha next to me, mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. You in the middle. Okay, yeah, I agree. And then whoever I don't whoever the fourth Taurus would be on the fourth, then Jaquil would be the last one. So we won't ever get like the strike, like three in a row, probably mm-hmm. because of that. So like if I get my, I'm just confident that I would get it. So, and I'm confident <laughs> Denisha would get it. So you, Jaquil, and Taurus might get a strike. I don't know which one of y'all would get the strike. <laughs> but like, I say, care the, it's, me. it's not me. If the question is like, what? Uh, what are some summer foods, right? I'm gonna say something like hot dogs. Right. And she's gonna probably say burgers. You, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna be like, uh, dang, I was gonna say that, and then I'm like, oh man, we got, we lost. This is how we lose. <laughs> but of course, gonna say some shit that's kind of wild, but it's gonna be on the board. We're yeah. gonna be like, what the fuck? Like, good answer, good answer. <laughs> but well, I low key want to ask that question to a lot of people, like, who will be your five for yeah. your family feud? Yeah. That's and I, will, I, I was like, no offense, but I'm really trying to take people with me who like who gonna think differently. I also want to take people with me who I can yell at, so that's probably why I wouldn't I take mom or dad. Yeah. <laughs> Cause I can't be like, what the fuck were y'all doing? <laughs> then commercial break. Willie, I don't know when that car. Y'all don't you ain't trying to win one. What you doing? What you doing? <laughs> you saying there saying that? Well, why would that be up there? <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. I can't. Yeah, I can. uh, like, but why would you say that? And my reaction to, I, I think I'll be bad for TV though, because like if somebody say something, I'm like why the fuck with that? Nigga. Yeah, the, I would like for America says I know for sure I would not be able to do it. Oh, you know what show I think I'd be good at? What's that one? The link one, the chain reaction one. You know what I mean? When there's a word at the top and you have to. Get oh yeah, I know what you're talking about. I'd be, I'm so good at word games. Side note: If anyone wants to get beat in iMessage games, I'll have me. I hate those. I hate iMessage games. And matter of fact, I'm glad you brought that up. If people send me iMessage games, I don't look at my phone. Like, I'm not ever really on my phone. So don't take it personal if I respond five hours later, like, oh, I don't want to do that, or I'm doing this. I don't look at my phone, like, ever. Like, I don't. I use everything. If you, you got a better chance of emailing me than getting me on my phone. And so, yeah. But um, you were frozen. You were frozen. It was like a whole. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, was it? <laughs> but I knew what you're saying. You're saying don't take it personal because you never on your phone, even though you leave me on red all the time. So that's true. <laughs> just don't understand the situation. Sometimes if I leave you on if I leave you on red too, um, that means I'm probably eating and I saw your message. Or me leaving you on red should let you know that that was a dumbass question or I don't <laughs> care enough that <laughs> I leave my red receipts on for a reason. So people can get a message whether or not it's intentional or not. Sometimes if I don't respond and let them know that I've seen a message, mm-hmm. um, I forgot to respond or the message wasn't important enough for me to respond. Take it how you want to take it. I used to be so scared to have my um, red on. So I'm like, man, I don't want people to know. No, I don't care. I'm just like, it is what it is. You see that? I, saw I want it. people to know. I'm like, Sorry. I want people to know too because sometimes if they send a message at 2 o'clock, and then it says red at six fifty. They know that oh, he was busy. He didn't see the message because I have my notification that I see the name, but I don't see the message. Mm-hmm. So, because I don't want niggas being talking crazy, especially just, like I just don't like because I be leaving my phone just like randomly placed placed in the house, and I don't want someone to pick it up and be like, oh, so and so said da 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 da. So I don't need that. But. Especially like the way, yeah, some people text, they text me like 
they text me as if they're having a real like face to face conversation. And I'm like, you realize how that's gonna come across on a text message though. <laughs> so somebody, a stranger was to read that, they're gonna be like, What is wrong with your friend? What is wrong with them? Right. And I got a couple group chats. One of them, people be saying, you will be surprised at what stuff they be saying. You will be surprised. And you'd be like, that person said that? Like, yeah. They yeah. they reckless. So privacy is important. Keep them right. saying hidden. Yeah. Um, let me see what else do I got. Oh. <laughs> so I got a question. Is this might, I don't know if you we're gonna might have to edit out this some stuff to you. So what's the time that you got in trouble that you didn't believe you should have gotten in trouble for? I mean, I've only been in trouble like twice. And I definitely- You've only been in trouble twice? Yeah. Oh, wow. Like the trouble, trouble, yeah. I was a good child. <laughs> oh, okay. I don't, what do you, what would you say? I mean, there's a couple, so I feel like they all got in trouble a lot. I we got in so one in particular that I always remember. I always bring it up is when Grandma said they can go swimming. Oh my God, me and Dad are just talking about. Got a we got a I got a whooping for going to get them, (laughs) and then I'm I'm, I was in the middle, so like Dad like warmed up, you know, so I'm getting like the. He's loose and stuff. And I'm like, man, I got a whooping for literally going to get them for going swimming, which grandma told them they can go swimming. Yeah. It ain't like they just went. They said, grandma, can we go swimming at our friend's house? And grandma said, yeah, go ahead. I couldn't swim. So I'm like, why am I going to a swimming pool? I can't yeah. swim. Who's going to save me? Because normally when we used to go swimming, Chauncey was there. Dad was there. Like, they can save us if I'm like about to drown. I'm like, yeah. well, you Negroes can't swim either. I'm not going. That sounds like a dumb idea. <laughs> and then Grandma said she told them that they couldn't go. I was like, oh, they about to get a whooping. And you got one too? And I got a whooping with them. <laughs> I was like, why am I getting a whooping with them? <laughs> what part of the plan is this? In my mind, I was just like, I really wanted to like ask a question, but I was scared it would be like, why am I getting a whooping and then getting, a whooping and getting in trouble for asking questions? So I, was yeah. like, <laughs> I was like, I didn't even do nothing. Though. That's not funny. Yeah, no, I never really got in trouble. Yeah, you were like a goody two-shoe. Yeah, I learned from y'all. That's the perk of being a youngest. You get to see. Dang, you only got in trouble twice? Yeah. I know both of them, too, then. <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. So you only got suspended that one time? Yeah. And that was for recording something? I don't need to say what it was for. <laughs> well, I re- we already talked about that before, so. Did we? Oh, we did. It was, yeah, it was like that. Yeah, yeah it was so it don't matter. But um, that's crazy. Dang. I'm a good child. I don't be knowing what y'all be doing. That's the thing, though. Like, I don't be knowing what people do because I just be like I don't care what people do too much like it ain't my business but it's interesting to hear like stuff people said happened I'm like that happened (laughs) like I was there (laughs) honestly though like I don't remember much from like elementary like I I can recall like middle school through high school but like elementary is like that's a little blurry. I remember elementary a lot. I remember like fun things, but I don't remember like getting in trouble. Oh, I remember. Oh, yeah. Never mind. I'm not going to say that. That was terrible. Um, <laughs> yeah. But moving on. <laughs> um, after the quarantine, what's on, what's uh, your travel list? What places are you going to hit up? I'm going to get the rest of my stuff from Oceanside. Like my, so Oceanside probably, I might actually go to Oceanside before the quarantine's over. I don't know yet. 
because I, I need to get like my vinyl record and a whole bunch of stuff. So besides that, um, I want to go to Seattle. I was supposed to go to Seattle, um, but this happened. So I had to cancel my flight and just get the, what is it, the points, what the cash that I can yeah. use later. So Seattle, Portland, um, and probably North Carolina. Well, no, I'm not, not anymore. So probably DC to visit Aisha's family, but mm-hmm. I've been to DC like three times. So Seattle and Portland probably, and maybe Vegas again, since Vegas is right there. It's like a $45 yeah. flight. I can't really beat that. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I don't really think, I think I'm going to wait to, the, I'm going to wait a long time to do yeah. anything. I want to make sure like the first wave go, maybe two waves, I want to be like, all right, we good. Because in my job, to, um, huh? what, what? they're getting what? ready to open, uh, open back up here. Really? Damn. I'm not going out. <laughs> we not open back up. They talking yeah, they're about, getting ready for phase two. My job was talking about they hope we can go back by September. I'm like, damn. So you telling me I ain't gonna be September. working from that's why I was like, man, I might as well go home and get my stuff. So I was like, uh, traveling during the quarantine. It's like scary. flying. <laughs> I'm not worried about like I think I can like handle it i was like but if i'm if i get infected on the plane yeah i bring it down and then tiffany or talia catch it they can't fight it yeah. but i was like if i ain't going back to september so september hopefully september at the earliest probably august i'm like what am i gonna do for what is it? it's may right now so yeah. june july two months like two months of not working and I'm like, I'm just sitting in my apartment. There's nothing open. I can't go nowhere. Yeah. I'm like, I'm buying stuff on Amazon that I don't need to buy. You're crazy, man. <laughs> I'm buying stuff like, I bought like a couple jerseys. And I'm like, why not buy jerseys? I can't even go out. <laughs> I stopped like I stopped searching for shoes because I was looking at shoes. I'm like, why am I about to buy some shoes? I can't go out. I wear them nowhere. You That's know? Right. So... But I do, I really want to go to Seattle. Um, like, every time, I'm, it might be, like, God's way of telling me I don't need to go to Seattle, though. The first time I was supposed to go to Seattle, um, stuff happened, and I should couldn't go with me. Then we were supposed to go during spring break this year. Couldn't go because of the coronavirus. That might be a sign. So, I'm like, man. And every time, like I, like I, so I rebooked the date, right? And it was cheaper, so I got money back. And then I, like, all right, let me have to rebook it again. And I'm like, oh, let me just cancel it then, and just take the reward points because it was still cheaper. And I'm like, damn, like I low key got more money on the account because of it. But I'm like, I'm just gonna have to wait. Portland yeah, too, like- huh? Flights are real cheap right now. Real cheap. To, to do a round trip to like the Bay Area right now, probably like seventy dollars. <laughs> the thing is, I'm not I'm worried like, about like I might like flying to San Diego will be easy and everything like that. I'm just like, man, I don't know if I want to deal with I don't want to deal with traveling during this time. People are paranoid. I'm not as worried. I'm just worried if I get affected and it impacts other people. But if it was just me getting it, I wouldn't worry about it too much. But where are you trying to go? Yeah, you could fight the baby. Um, I definitely want to go back to the Bay Area a couple more times, see some friends, hang out. And uh, that girl, what's her name? Bree? Is she here? Don't play her like you don't know her name. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I want to go see Bree. I want to go see Don. Um, she lives in the know. Bay. I really want to go to LA, huh? Don lives in the Bay. 
No, but we we'll meet up in the Bay. Um, I want to go to LA to eat. I swear, ever since this quarantine, all these food pages have been popping up. All these places are in LA, and I'm like, I need to eat all of this. Like Damn. what though? Like a whole bunch of like Mexican food places, soul food. Like man, you're gonna so- be disappointed. Why? Mexican food places in, in LA. Food? You you live in. I wouldn't Spain. say just. You live in San Diego. But no, this looks so good though. It's different. It's different. But yeah, I don't. I'm not gonna be doing too much outside stuff until until uh, I feel safe. You know, I don't think it's smart to just. Be like, okay, everything's open back up. Everyone come out. We're going to issue social distancing. And I don't think um, I do miss possible. I, I miss certain things. Like, I have plans to do, like, I wanted to do this show on YouTube of me. Well, I don't even want to say the idea. Low key. But don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> I don't care. I wanted to go, like, so, go to record stores, but go to different record stores, have me shopping at different record stores, like, have, like, get taken the picture of the record store, me going in a record store, I talk about the record store I went to, and then talk about the record, the CDs, or whatever I bought, why I bought it, and that's what I wanted to do, and I wanted to do that, and I wanted to call it On the Record. But then this all happened, and I'm like, damn, man, just when I'm starting to get a little bit of bread, like, just <laughs> when I'm starting to have uh, all these ideas, like, I got all these ideas that I can't do until yeah. this damn thing ends. So that's why I'm really looking forward to being able to do, like, I want to put more than just the podcast on the channel. Yeah. So I'm like, man, I can't even do that because it's damn quarantine. And especially here in the Bay, we got it worse then y'all got it down there so it's worse like we can't do nothing like when you guys the beaches were opening up for you we got a message saying quarantine was extended so i'm like damn (laughs) we ain't gonna be able to ever go and the way people are acting i'm like we're gonna be in this thing until december it'll be a hot minute but so when this thing ends uh and and they open record stores up I'm going to a couple record stores. I'm going to try to film. First, I got to get permission from them, see if I can do it. And then they probably yeah, be like, I'm yeah, sure. cool. And then I'm be like, all right, cool. Like, um, yeah, there's one I go to all the time. That's why, too, I need my, <laughs> the record player, who you bought me it, that I haven't even used mm-hmm. because I have nowhere to use it. Yeah, <laughs> and now I have the space to use it. and I can't use it, and I'm like, cause I can't couldn't travel with it. I thought to tell Jaquil, like, hey man, go to go to the house, uh, grab my stuff. You come to the bay, you can chill with us for a little bit. Cause I'm like, you ain't probably doing nothing when his when his um thing ends. Yeah, I'm like might as well. Or I'll go down to the to ocean side, and you just come back with me to the bay. But. Yeah, I don't know. It's ridiculous, though. The quarantine is crazy, but the only there's some positives that come out of it too. So we have more time. We could do this podcast if you was working. We would not be able to do this. Yeah, because I work. I mean, I yeah, I work. You would have to get up early in the morning to do it. Because I work at, at two, but I leave at twelve. So, I mean, there's positives for sure, but the positives are people are gonna be more clean or cleaner. Are they though? <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I might. I'm probably gonna be done shaking hands. I might just be in the elbow. But the head now. It gives me now. I don't have to give unwanted hugs though. I appreciate that. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> I can just act like it's social distancing, but it really ain't, you know? I don't want to give you a hug. Now I got an excuse. Don't touch me. But there's some positives. I guess I have more time to 
like redecorate our apartment too. Like, mm-hmm. like these all weren't up before. There was only like two rows or something like that. Now we got like four. I don't. Let me see if you can. If I can do it, the camera. You know, now we got like yeah. Beyonce up there and Muhammad Ali okay. and all the Marvin Gaye. Um, so before we didn't have that. Um, we got frames all over the house. Um, we got like these album covers we're about to put up. So, I mean, we are able to do more like home decorating that we actually been trying to do for a while, but we couldn't. So mm-hmm. I'm ordering a lot of like, we just, I just ordered what? Fairy lights, a couple tapestries. Or tapestries. I don't know. How do you actually say that? Is it tapestry or tapestry? I say tapestry. Both well, probably saying it wrong. I, I, same with um, GIF or GIF. I don't know how to say it. It's GIF. It's GIF. GIF. Oh. Yeah. There's some words. I don't know. I don't know. All right. I'm going to ask one last question. I'll, I'm not going to ask the question I was going to ask because I just thought like we could just make a whole episode out of it. Um, once no, I'm gonna do two. One song to describe your life right now. <sighs> Lonely by Akon. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I said locked up by Akon. <laughs> oh man, nah. Cause I actually have, I have, I have somebody here. What is it? I don't know. I don't know what song. Lonely came to mind immediately. Lonely. But let me, all right, yeah. Lonely, I'll go with Lonely. I'll go with Lonely because we spent so much time together. Now it's like, we're kind of lonely. Like, like I get so much, so excited for like Zoom calls and- So I have other interactions with people? That I normally wouldn't like talk to. Like outside of like family and stuff, like I'm yeah. like, oh, you should. They'll text me like, what you doing? And I immediately like will Facetime them like, <laughs> what's good, nigga? And, like before then, like uh, uh-uh, wasn't doing none of that. Like I'm very, very antisocial, so I'm like, I'm like, oh yeah, lonely. There's a couple songs, but lonely, um, lovely day by Bill Withers also pops in my head because yeah. every day I'd be like, I mean, could be worse. It's a lovely day, yeah. man. We woke up breathing. There's some people who ain't. This quarantine is really impacting other people. Like, I know a lot of people who got family, who got coronavirus or are dealing with it, and we ain't got family dealing with it. We just stuck in the house. So. Yeah, that's why I like when I find myself complaining, like, uh, I'm like, yo, really? You are in a house, you're healthy, your family's healthy, shut up. You got more time to watch these shows that you've been wanting to watch. It is what it is, but yeah. But I mean, that doesn't um, go to say I can't complain. I feel like everyone should have a day to just really be like, this sucks, like I'm over it. I and then like, remember how blessed you are because we're, we are blessed. I think everybody should have the right to complain, but you also need to put it in perspective. Like, like I can complain and be frustrated by the situation that like I can't go to work or I can't do this, but I also be like, well, I'm breathing though. Like if I, I got to have that both, I think you need to have both. People yeah. are, there's like people who are just complaining Low key, like I'm starting to hate Snapchat because of it. I'm like, y'all just complaining every day, <laughs> posting the same memes every day. Like, bro, go do something. Like, you ain't doing nothing different that you don't normally do. Like, I'm like, you all you some people. I'm like, you do the same thing. You just can't smoke with other people now. You at home smoking weed, joking around, doing stupid stuff in your house. That you been like doing com- that. You sound like that one commercial. Was like you're sitting at home doing nothing, sitting <laughs> on the couch. <laughs> Get up and go do something. Got people yeah. on there. I'm like, they're like, oh, wake and bake. I'm like, you do that every day. Don't act like it's just a quarantine that's making you do it. 
<laughs> Did you see what I posted on Snapchat? What you post? The, the meme with Kevin. I, I want to say that I, I, I yeah, I skipped through yours clearly then, because I know I viewed it. You're I so fake, bro. <laughs> I know I viewed it too, but I don't remember it, so that means I probably just clicked through it. You're so fake, whatever. I don't know if you probably watch, watch like, huh? Or does she click through them too? Does she actually watch them too? My story. I don't know if she even goes on Snapchat like that. She watches like I see her name. But I'm saying, does she actually look at? I don't know what she does because majority of the time she's still working. Oh yeah. So she like that's why like I have to be in the living room from like a certain time because she's still working dealing with kids. And then after that, um, we do we watch a lot of TV that I mean, I tell you one thing. I was not big on TV like at all. I know like I there's a lot of shows I need to watch, but like before this I never watched TV. I like I wake up, um, make my food, get ready for the day for work, go to the store, go on a walk, do whatever, you know. Then I'll come home and then watch like a Hulu show with her before I go to bed. But now I'm like watching whole fucking series of shows <laughs> and, and like trying to pace yourself because you're like, especially like the older shows are like, we finished it. You know, there ain't another episode coming back. Yeah. So like, and then like, also, man, this is why I hate social media. I hate it. Like the mass Singer, right? They oh, spoiled yeah. it. We knew who it was. We knew me and Aisha, we knew. We knew it was we knew it was Bow Wow. And we knew well, if you ain't watched it. I'm spoiling for you. I know who no, I saw it on social media. Well, I'm talking if people watch it. Oh uh, yeah. uh Candy. Like we knew it was them. But we were just like, see, watch black people are gonna win for the third season in a row. When you put a mask on us, we go win. But now now we can't even like it was spoiled already. I'm like, man. Now you know. I low key wanted Bow Wow to win, and I'm like, over Candy. Yeah. <laughs> Candy gave herself away immediately. Her voice is very easy to detect. No, her clues gave her away too. Bow Wow's too, but Bow Wow's were more like. It could be like any of the rappers, the like child rappers. Like it could have been the dude from Criss Cross or Lil Romeo or, you know, any of them little rappers. But yeah, I can't watch nothing though. Like all the new shows, I'm like, I don't want to start the newer shows because I'm like, I'm going to binge it. Yeah. And then I'm going to be like, Damn, that was there to do. But there's so much, like, so much you could watch. You're there's not going to run out of things to watch. I, like, I still have to watch, what, The Boys? You got about seven things on that list that you need to watch. The Boys. <laughs> the thing is, too, like, the, what is that documentary you told me to watch? The Which Khalid Browder. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, that one. I know the story already. So I'm like, I know how it ends. I know, like, he commits suicide and all that. But you don't know the in-between. I don't really don't want to, like, I'm like, man, we're already stuck in the house. I don't want to watch that. But I want to talk about it, and I cannot talk about it if you don't watch the in-between. We can talk about it without me watching it. You need that to would be better. You can tell me the stuff that's in the documentary. I can tell you what I already knew. Like... I don't know if I want to sit there and watch that. It I know is that. Bad. I'm not lie. I watched it and it kind of like ruined my whole day. When you know what's gonna happen, yeah, like it it it's ain't very heartbreaking. It ain't nothing to. You guys yeah. should watch it though. If whoever's watching this, watch the Khalif uh Khalif Browder Browder story. Browder Browder. I don't know how to say his last name. It's very it's it's eye opening. I mean, if you should already know the justice system is trash. Anyway. And I yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> if you're surprised when you watch it, baby, do some more research. There's um, a lot of stuff. Like, yeah, it's I, it's very sad, but it's I feel like everyone should watch it still. I don't know. I'm watching. What are we watching now? 
What are we watching? We oh, we just finished a couple of things. Oh, watch the Easter Ray movie too. Lovebirds came out today. Oh, it's on Netflix, huh? Yep, on Netflix today. Oh, we can talk about that. We'll probably watch that. We'll talk about that on Monday or Tuesday. Yeah, I'm gonna maybe. watch it. I'm gonna watch it tonight, actually. Yeah, we're gonna watch that for sure. I didn't know it was on there. So yeah, it just came out today. So that'd be a little date night. Oh, Order some cheesecake factory. Get some cheesecake. Aww. <laughs> You have a problem. Man, I haven't ordered cheesecake in like, oh, and was it? it's been a week. It's been a week. And that's really good. Low key, though, low key, the amount of cheesecake that I've bought, I could have bought about six or seven whole, whole cakes. Ones. Yes. Yeah. But the problem I'm is, you can't, like, when you order off of, um like, these delivering apps, they never give you what you want. Like, you say you want bread. They just grab bread. They don't <laughs> grab the brand that you put on there. <laughs> and you're like, man, I don't want to go to the store. Like, keep risking getting the fucking virus. Yeah. Who eats multi-grain, like, bread? I actually do. We have some here. That shit is nasty. It's you can't nasty. put, like, you can't put peanut butter and jelly on that. Thing. No, hell no. But what's your second question? Oh, what song? You never gave your song. I said "Locked Up" by Akon. Oh. <laughs> um. No, I'm gonna save it. I'm gonna save it for a different topic. You said you had two questions, and you said the one oh, question. One was really, I was just gonna ask you if you heard about the whole parallel universe thing. Yeah. Then we just talk about how we ha- if we would have <laughs> our doppelgangers or whatever they're called, our other person out there, and now it's true. I really yeah. hope Destiny is living her best life. I hope she don't have a student loan. I hope Listen, she needs to thrive. If I did have a doppelganger, whatever you call it. They probably living it up, man. They probably right. a, a famous athlete or something, but you know, they probably right. six seven, you know. Six seven. <laughs> they probably living it up, you know, because I ain't doing it. So they got, they can't be struggling. We both right. can't be struggling. Both, I hope we're both not struggling. I really hope she is thriving. That was sucked though. You found out that your doppelganger is doing just as is doing worse. <laughs> Wouldn't that suck? Like, like you learn from me. You're like, damn, ain't no universe that I do well. I do bad in every universe. <laughs> <laughs> Is it just me? Am I, am I am toxic? I Is it me? <laughs> that low key might push me to the edge. If I find out that my, <laughs> I might have to end it for myself. Low key. I'm like, he ain't even doing it's good. Oh, God. I'm like, hey, can I not win? That'd be so rough. But, all right. Yeah. Um, all right, let's end it then. I, I kind of want to know what you want to talk about for the next one. But, but yeah, yeah. I will just end this so I can talk about my ideas for the next. All right. But so, happy Memorial Day weekend, but I, even though you're uh, posting this after Memorial Day weekend. I'm really not. So I'm posting this Monday. I know Memorial. I said after Memorial Oh, Memorial Day, yeah. Yeah. So this has been another episode of the Harris Show. I've been your boy Jamal Harris. Um, I'm with my sister, co-host, whatever her she wanna go by, Angie yeah, Ann's, because yeah, I guess Harris. that's her name now. Um yeah, go Harris. follow me on SoundCloud and listen to my radio Raheem tapes. Y'all ain't gotta like it or just listen. I just wanna listen. It's give good. me some feedback, you know. I listen to a lot of music, but I think it's slap. But I made it, so. The R&B, go listen. We out, though. Peace.